Good morning, everybody. It's Alexandra Sofia Aguila Mama. So, so excited to be joining you at this year's OABE conference as your closing keynote speaker. Okay, so the title of my presentation, or the title of my stories, um, shared experience with you, is the system of beliefs that will either unite or destroy a nuestra comunidad. And it's funny because I think that this title, this working piece, has been building from the very moment that I was conceived. My mother tells me stories all the time about what an easy baby I was from the very first moment. I'm one of six kids, grew up with my cousins, so we were one of seven in the house. And yet my mother shares that she loved her pregnancy with me. I was an easy baby. I liked being in the safety of the womb. Even when I came into this world early on, while my brothers and sisters and cousins were running around the house, como unos locos, I would sit at the table right next to my mommy's side while she cooked arroz con cangrejo o arroz con andule, and I would color and I would listen to music and I would hear her stories. That was early in my youth and it's so strange that people who saw me or met me somewhere around the age of nine or 10 or 11 or you know, dot, 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 they saw a very different version of that. They saw me as a fighter, hard-headed, hard-willing, refusing to follow the rules. And the reality was it was a kid refusing to follow rules because she didn't understand the new expectation, the new bubble. It was unsafe. I would run home to the safety of my home, to what felt normal, to what felt right. Because for me, when I left the house, it didn't make sense that my moños, my accent, my color, and the way I saw stories, in ways that I was taught to see stories, but didn't coincide with what the answer key said. I didn't know why all of those things were a problem. And I was tired of being a problem outside. And my parents asking me to be patient inside. And so one day after feeling that somebody an adult had really, had really impacted and harmed my bubble. I went home and I said, is this, is this why you brought me here? I hate you to my mommy. And I'll never really forget the look in her eye of how I destroyed a little piece of her bubble, this negotiation of where I came from, who we were, where I came to, and how I redefine myself in this new space without destroying the bubble that gave birth to me, that gave me shape, that gave me life, and the new bubble in which I had to exist. She told me that day and so many times after that. Mira, baby, mi amor, hija fuiste y madre será. Según tú hiciste, a ti te hará. And I would tell her, mira, stop that black magic stuff, okay? That, that's just nonsense. That's what they used to say in Puerto Rico, okay? I'm never having kids. Fast forward to a couple of days ago. <laughs> When my daughter looks at me in horror as I'm telling a story and I have to step back. She's 13, she's darker than me and has been asked to choose. Are you Latina or are you black? Are you Latina or are you black? A child who is so brilliant with early significant hearing loss and significant speech supports needed. She gets, se le tronca la palabra a veces. 
And I say, baby, it seems to me that you think in the story that I'm comparing you to the idiot instead of to the genius. And she said, yes. And I asked her, how could you ever think that I would see anything but genius in you? And I pause and realize it's because outside of the bubble, that's how they see her sometimes. Can't wait to be with you. Please think about how we see people how we engage with the world, how we navigate the bubble we came from, and how it must bump up against the bubbles of others in the world. Because it is the key to our shared humanity, to our unity, and nuestra comunidad. Nos vemos pronto.